Hi folks, it's Annie from Mountain Crest here, and today I have the pleasure of being here at Desert Theater with Brandon Bullard, who owns five different nurseries in this whole San Diego area. So we're just gonna look at one small segment of all of the massive plants you're growing. And you specialize, a lot of these are pretty big, but ones you've had for a while, huh? Absolutely. So what do we have here? What are we looking at? Uh, so we got a mix. We've got Zilmaniana, we've got Bocasana, Nice. Um, we were just looking at this guy that's got a, it's cresting. That's the Zilmaniana. Yeah. So a couple different mammalarias and looks like they're flowering. Some of them have flowers and fruit on them right mm -hmm. at the same time. Yep. This would be the old, uh, off the last session of flowers. So these stay in bloom a long time. Yeah. Months and months. It's oh. one of the most flowering mammalarias. Do you ever collect seed from them? Yeah. Oh. We looked at how small the seeds are. It's yeah. like a grain of sand. Can so we open it up and see Absolutely. Them? I don't know if we can actually get that on camera, but... They are tiny. Yeah, it's like a grain of sand. It literally is... You can't even hardly see it. It's tiny. <laughs> so to get a plant that's this big, think about how many millions of times it had to grow. And, you know, yeah. from that one little seed. How old is a plant of this size, you think? So these are not that old. These are okay. probably, from seed, these are probably maybe three, maybe three years old. Okay. Probably. Nice. And it seems like they're propagating themselves pretty well, too. A lot of offsets happening. Absolutely. It's a good clumper. Yeah, it's a, it's a little bit more difficult to pull the pups off propagating it that way, uh -huh. but, it, but it is doable. Sometimes it tears the flesh a little bit much, uh, too much, but you can, you know, use some, uh, rooting hormone okay and heal the wound yeah. and set it on top of some soil and it'll it'll root very neat yeah so a lot of people will tear the segments apart i don't <laughs> it's too much work well speaking of soil what kind of soil are you using for your cactus so we've been trying a couple of different things but mainly just peat and uh perlite um a bit of lava rock huh? yeah it's got a little bit of scoria okay oh, nice. um, the lava rock uh been having problems with some uh, soils that come in with weed seed. So, uh. so it's a constant battle to pull weeds. So I went to a, a bagged soil that's sterilized and doesn't have much weed seed. Nice. You know? So you're only growing the plants you actually want. <laughs> I don't want to grow. I'm a good weed grower. How's that? Uh, well, thank you so much. These absolutely. are absolutely gorgeous. We love their mammalaria flower crowns and always a good crest. Yeah. Thank you so Beauty. much. You're welcome. <laughs> I don't know if there's a lot of truth to it, but there's a feral cactus called Rectus Venus. Oh no. Which, oh, no. which means, cactus. which means erect spine. Mm -hmm. Problem is, the guy that discovered it fell down on one and he wrecked his